slash three, he's in Baltimore. Then two slash four, he's in Connecticut slash Raleigh. Then two slash ten, he's in DC. Then two eleven, he's in Nashville, Tennessee. Then two fourteen, he's in Louisville, Kentucky. Then on the fifteenth, he's in New Orleans. On the sixteenth, he's in New Orleans. On the twenty-fifth, he's in Dallas. Then on three slash three, he's in Dallas, Texas. Then on three slash four, he's in Alabama. Then on three slash seventeen, he's in Detroit. Then on three slash eighteen, he's in Chicago. Then on three slash nineteen, he's back in Chicago. Then on three twenty-fifth, he's in Charlotte. Then on four slash one, he's in London. Then on four slash eight, he's in Indiana. Then on four slash 14, he's in Columbus. Yes. Then on 4 slash 15, he's in Cleveland. Y'all gotta put your hands together for Harlem, baby. God. Damn. Now, you got a lot of DJs that can't make it past OZ fucking Tavern. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Uh, listen, I don't give a fuck. Go tell him I said it. The only thing that got my ass was the record call, the WAP that took me worldwide. But other than that, I probably wouldn't have made it past 125th Street, but goddamn son. A so, AOB. Yeah, yeah, right. All I gotta say is 14. My man Mel Star is M T A M F. What's that mean, Brad? More than a motherfucker. <laughs> to serenade this black man, Red, right? because, like, like you, Red, like, I said, Red, you know, like, you know, we got the Renaissance Ballroom situation going down Thursday, but it got so crazy, we had to push it to a Friday, right? So I call, I say, yo, Red Alert, yo, can you come through Friday? Here come Red Alert. Well, my man, West Bubblefuck on Friday, then I gotta shift on over to Dynamic Dude on Thursday. And I'm saying, like, my brothers is really doing it, so kudos to you too, Red Alert. Put your hands up, Red Alert, you Respect, man, but yeah. Yo, fuck Red Alert. We're talking some motherfucking Bell Star. When I say no, you say star. Mel Star! All right, we're going to turn this into a hip-hop conversation. Then y'all got to get the fuck out of here. You know why? Because you ain't buying no damn drinks. But anyway, because I'm going to pull a seat out. We're going to talk about Mel Star. We got the three men over here like this to do the right thing. Huh? Yeah, we're going to talk about Mel Star. Yeah, yeah. Which one is Robin Harris? I guess I'll be motherfucking baby kids and them some of them old bitches. Listen, a couple of laws. All right, so, it's like, I ain't gonna even front rent, like, it's cats like you who paved the way, right? And, and you still doing your thing, like, we was down at the, uh... SOBs. SOBs. SOBs, the Jam Master J thing. Celebration. Crazy. That goddamn Onyx had me doing this shit. Throw your guns in the head. I was like, oh shit, I ain't even got the gun. Yeah. Onyx was sick that night, right? Nuts. Right. So, you know, like, it's light in here. Like, last week, the shit was packed from the goddamn back to the front. Well, sir, I don't know what happened. I wanna, I just wanna say to you that the best parties, and I'm gonna plant this to all the DJs in the world. The best parties in the world, or a matter of fact, let me flip that. When you know you got a good DJ, is when he can take 10, 15, 20 people and make them have the best yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's facts. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Facts. It's easy to rock a party when it's packed, everybody drinking and shit. That's an easy party. But when you can take a party like this and it's a little slow situation, but shout out to the people that did come out to have a good time. Respect. Respect. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, 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 and Mel Star is like pushing all the butt, like, yo, bro, I love you, fam. Like, yo, that's what, yo, I gotta shake your hand. Yo, no, he's different. Yeah, he's different. Mel Star. And then you know what I do like about, another thing I like about Mel Star? It's like, he's unpredictable. You know some DJs, you know they play schedule sitting on the side and say, okay, he gonna play before. Yeah, okay. yeah, like yeah, me. Yeah, you know exactly. Okay, he get ready to go. Right, 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 right. He get ready to go. Right. Now, Mel Star, you don't know what's gonna happen with Mel Star. But he's different. He's, he, he, all right, damn, yeah, he different, right? M-T-A-M-F. <laughs> More than a motherfucker. Welcome to the Hip Hop Summit with me and DJ Red Alert. We talk about Mel Star. And Mike is in the middle. And Money Mike is in the middle. And I want you to edit this right. I want you to edit this right. Come in, Mel Star. Come in, Mel. I need Mel Star. Yeah, hold on. Come in, Mel. You need to be a part of this thing. All right. You know Come in, Mel. Yeah, they call him Mel Star, but yeah. they also call him. Mr. No Headphone. Yeah, 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 no headphone. And yeah, Mel, I'm coming to Vegas. Hey, yo, I get, yes, yeah. So, Mel, I seen your schedule. I seen your schedule. And I need to let, I need you to tell us a little bit about what you're doing and what you're bringing to the outer world that you take it from Harlem and, you know, opening up their eyes to. Give us a little insight. It's hip hop for real. It's for real, like. It's how we do this shit. Just Mel Star. Up, man. Cool man. DJ Red Alert. Yep. My day one. Be fat. Yep. My money might. This how we do it. Um, bam. I'm on the spot. That was crazy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all three of y'all. Um, I, you know, I, I listen to y'all. That's what's crazy. Like, a lot of people credit hip hop for a lot of things, but for me, I just credit people like Red Alert, Chuck Chill Out, Tony Humphrey, Chef Pettibone, T. Scott, yes. the original Charisma, Larry LeVan, cast like that, you know what I'm saying? So the second the, the second or third generation, like, you know, the Kid Capri's, Flashes, and all those guys came like way later, you know what I'm saying? So my background was, House, club, disco classics, and then late 90s is when I started, like, you know, playing hip hop. So that's just what happened. Um, as far as, like, what I've done, I've done a lot. Um, I really don't talk about what I do. I always say I never wanted to be a legend, I just wanted to be a work in progress. So, you know, that way I keep it moving, keep it going, and then, you know, and, yeah, yeah, I, I think so. You don't talk about it, he does it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I just, okay, that's it. I don't mean to cut you off, man, but since we're in Hip Hop Summit right now, yeah. our viewers want to know, how did it become that you don't use no headphones? Because people be asking me that because, you know, they know you're my friend. No doubt. So, could you answer that question for me, please? This is a, a weird story. I was in 9-11. So when 9-11 happened, um, whatever was crashing and whatever was going on over there, um, it took my left ear out. So my hearing is actually gone, so I can't hear in my left ear at all, like it's permanently out. So like wearing headphones, you know, when you queue up this in your ear, you can't hear, I can't hear the outside. So it was difficult. So when you know, like Serato and everything came about, I went back in the lab and um, I just studied it for about another year, <laughs> and then came out, bust out. So everybody's like, "The hell happened?" You know? There you have it, so, so. Mister No Headphones, Mel Stop. He's different. <laughs> Hey, yo, so Once again, I just need y'all to put your hands together for the incredible Mel Star. Woo! I know some of y'all party people standing around like, nigga, we ain't playing here about this fucking Mel Star. But listen, this is.
this is what we're gonna do. Mel, I want you to go to the turntables and I want you to pull up a beat, right? I want you to show them why, and I'm gonna ask the cameraman to follow us, and I need you to put in some work on a beat. I'm gonna show y'all, because a lot of y'all saying, okay, I hear you talking facts and all that old good shit, but I wanna, I wanna actually show y'all why us OGs got so much love for Mel Star. Cameraman, come over here right quick. Come over here, Red Alert. Come here, Red. Looks like in sports. Come here, Red. Before Cotton Hawkins and Rosabella yeah. became a Dr. J. Yeah. From a Dr. J became a Michael Jordan. Y'all come check this shit out. From a Michael Jordan became a Kobe. Y'all gotta check this shit out. This is crazy. Man. He's different. Let's go, big yeah. guy. Y'all yeah, gotta check this shit out. All right. You ready? You ready? Let me know when you're ready, Mel. Just, just do what you do. Give me a zip a zip. Oh, hear me now. Let's go. Oh, by the way, he is dissecting the beat. Transforming right now, Mel. Give me some transform. He already had transform. Yeah. He's different. I, I know he's different, Red. Oh, listen. Oh, oh, here we go. Now, Peter. Oh, my God. 
and try that on your electrophonic set. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just did that because I need y'all to know who you've been listening to. Um, he's on. He does a. He's he's actually who's who Dini's DJ when they out on tour. Uh, Mel Sauce the DJ for Houdini. Like he is just so wicked with it, and I just need y'all to put your hands together for Mel Star. And guess what? He belongs to us, Harlem. Harlem Green, baby. So with that said, man, I just need y'all to show your love for DJ Mel Star. Now with that, I wish y'all love. We out of here next week. The Renaissance Ballroom reunion has been moved from Thursday to a Friday. Why? Because we got a lot of hip hop that's gonna be in the building. I need y'all to come out, show your love next Friday. Word. Next Friday. We're not gonna be here Thursday. We moved it to Friday. Why? Because there's a lot of hip hop gonna be in the building. Mel won't be able to be here because he'll be on tour back in Vegas. He gotta be out of here actually in a few hours. He gotta hit that plane and he gotta make it back over to where he get that paper. Put your hands together one more time for Mel Star. And I wanna say good night to each and every one of you. And I hope to see you next week at the Renaissance Ballroom. Take us out, now, let's go. <laughs>